Alexander the Great's own resting place is still a mystery. During his 13-year reign, Alexander became the king of Persia, king of Greece, lord of Asia, and the pharaoh of Egypt, as well as king of Macedonia. Archaeologist Pipi Papacosta is on a mission to find Alexander the Great's lost tomb. Excavating in a public garden in the center of the city he founded 2,300 years ago, Alexandria, Egypt, she has discovered a rare, marble statue of Alexander, Greek treasures, and secret tunnels. An archaeologist believes she has, finally, discovered the tomb of Alexander the Great. Almost 2,350 years after his death, has the tomb of Alexander the Great finally been found? This is what Calliope Limnios Papacosta, a Greek archaeologist, claims. After several years of research in Alexandria, northern Egypt, she recently uncovered a statue and an ancient Roman road. Following further excavations, her team of researchers also discovered the foundations of a large building, which appears to be the former royal quarter, supposedly housing the tomb of the famous ruler. This find came as the result of extensive research. As reported by National Geographic, Calliope Limnios Papacosta has been studying the site for over 20 years. I have never seen anyone in my career who has stayed on the same site for 21 years, one of her associates told the American media. The excavation area is located on the site of the ancient city of Memphis, later integrated into the city of Alexandria during antiquity. Particularly exposed to natural phenomena such as earthquakes and Nile floods, the site has suffered a lot of damage, forcing researchers to protect and clean the site regularly, further slowing down the research. The loss of the tomb of Alexander the Great would have been caused by an earthquake. After his death in Babylon in 323 BC at the age of 32, the remains of the Macedonian king were moved to Alexandria around 280 BC, one of the many cities he founded during his reign. But in the year 365, the city was hit by numerous earthquakes and a tsunami. The population fled, and the sovereign's grave was likely buried and forgotten. But Calliope Limnios Papacosta was fully determined to find it. The Greek archaeologist spent years researching ancient tomes and maps of Alexandria to find the location of the tomb. Her teams also used tomography, a technique that scans the different layers of the ground to build a 3D image. Decades of research that might have finally brought recovered the tomb of Alexander the Great. This is good news for Egypt. Indeed, this archaeological discovery would be a boon the country's tourism. In addition to the forthcoming opening of the Great Egyptian Museum, the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities regularly shares the discoveries made by archaeologists. The latest of these? A Roman city, more than 3,000 years old, unearthed near Luxa. If you like my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.